Muhammad Wilkerson. What is up, everybody? You know what time it is. I am here at All G's React, and joined with me is my man Bruce over at Team Box Cutter, Bruce Lively. Y'all come check us out. And it's time for another head to head, man. We about to go ahead and jump into the two songs that were picked over here at All G's React. We have Royce to Five Nine, Tabernacle. And Bruce, what did you guys have? We had Andre 3016, the solo version. Yeah, 16 ain't enough. All right, so we got two lyrical masters about to go head oh, to head man, here. This is tough, and we don't even have a video. <laughs> what? Oh, man, we got, look, let me tell you something. This is going to be hard, even with you guys not having a video. This is going to be hard. Regardless, we're talking about three stacks here. We're talking about the lyrical master. Okay? Uh -huh. This is going to be hard. But we also know Royce the 5'9 is no slouch. He keeps his pen sharp and he keeps his lyrics layered. Yes, he All does. Right? Yes, he does. <laughs> it's going to be so, tough. Uh, no video. Uh, but no, I'll get to it when we get to Andre. We're doing Royce first. Uh, don't forget, if when you hear this sound... That means the points has been added and it lets you guys kind of understand what we're looking for. All right. All right, so we're gonna start off with Royce the Fly Nice Tabernacle. This is the official music video. Let's do this. Let's do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Man, first of all, uh, quite a bit of syncopation in there. And the way that he's rhyming is a whole lot of uh, a lot of not rhyming. More similes, right? There's more of of consonants sounding alike. There's more of um what what do we call them here? Uh more alliterations. Right? The beginning of words that sound alike as well. So, rather than actual rhymes. And when he does rhyme, he does it in half time. We spoke about that on the last last one. So, I like that. It's real unique. Uh, it's already gained him quite a few points in that first verse. Difficulty, I'm going to give another one too because breath control was there. The music is dope um, for the fact of the sample. Right? The, the live choir... Other than that, the beat is pretty normal and just keeps on going. So we'll see how musicality matches up. But uh, yeah, that's me. That's that first verse so far, man. He's already looking good. It's getting, it's getting tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, we gotta give him credit. I like you said how you said uh, no hook, more story. It's more of uh, telling you a story instead of just putting a hook into the song. Okay, so he's bringing you the song, rapping the song, but instead of giving you a hook, he's gonna give you more of the story. Because this is very important to him for you to understand all aspects of what he's rapping about. So, again, creativity right there. Yes. That's not done a whole lot when it comes to music form. A real good so, variation on a song form. Yeah, I like it. Right. Yeah. All right. So, you ready? <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Woo! The importance of that's why that's his name, Royce the Five Nine. Wow, damn. Death on the fifth floor, life on the ninth floor of the hospital. Wow, I didn't catch you that. Can't tell I me didn't that. catch that. Yeah, 
So yeah, that, you can't you can't tell me that's not that's not dope. That's not a dope way to pick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like to pick your name. Like wow, that's powerful. That's real power. That's right the there. whole story. Hip hop shit for. Yeah. Uh, once again, um, way more secondary rhymes than primary rhymes. Like rhymes in between, in between the sentences. Is, there's a word for that as well. Um, I mean, a lot more alliterations and and maybe assonance, repeating of vowel sounds than actual rhyming. It's a it's a great way to do poetry. Uh, also, I mean, does, he just got points every time that happened because you don't know how to tell is it drop is it dropping on the third beat? Is the rhyme dropping on the fourth beat? You know, more so than that. Yeah, he's using all of these other things, and that's just an amazing, inventive way to do rap. Period. Uh, another thing, we're talking about the music. He got another extra points for the. Mixing and the engineering during the chorus part in order for you to hear him rapping and hear the preacher preaching and the choir all at the same time blended correctly they actually do a filter on the beat so it's only felt but not heard that takes mm. a little bit of skill uh points musicality right there and yeah, i mean there we go there we go oh man Great story by Royce. Uh, much, much more, more about you know the importance of understanding your purpose. Yeah. So you know he's gonna get some points for that for sure. Content. The great storytelling. Yeah, yeah the content wise, yeah, and great storytelling involved with with the entire song. Oh yeah, definitely. The song itself is powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like even, that's why he he even started it with look, there's is gonna be no lies in this song whatsoever. Right. Like I'm bringing you all truth because he knows, you know, people embellish sometimes, some people stretch some things. He's like no lies whatsoever. This is all raw truth. I had my son on the same day, lost my granny, and met one of my best friends. All on the same day. Outstanding. Outstanding. And, <laughs> and I mean, let's not forget that uh, we usually, it's not going to be as as fruitful content-wise when someone's talking about themselves, but he does find yeah. clever ways to, to integrate the story into a social consciousness, so, something that you can draw from it for yourself. So he does get a few points right, there right. as well. Of course, yes, yes. That's what the whole point of understanding purpose is. Yep. Understanding his purpose. He's showing you with this story, like he says, he even says it in the song. Like this is when I understood my purpose in this situation, what happened, which pushed me to understanding my purpose. My purpose in life. So it's great. All right, man. Whew, he got mad points and skill. All right. So listen, Andre song is sixteen. So this is the backstory so you guys understand what's being judged here. Uh, this was originally on Rick Ross's joint. Uh, now he has a 16 bars on the Rick Ross song 16. But he himself took it upon himself to take that beat and do something else, an entire new song to that beat and then put Ross on it. So he does get the points for the beat he does get the musical points for this because it's not a feature. He actually chose the song and rapped on it. So just so you guys know, but there's no video. Uh, but yeah, he's getting points for musicality here. With that being said, right. go ahead. Here we go. We're gonna let you take this one. Alrighty. <laughs> Stop. Ta, ta, Stop. Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> Ta, ta. You hear him coming in yes. with it? Ta, ta, the live drums ta, is playing ta, ta, the, on the hi-hat, tapping about what's about to happen. You hear the keys. No. Change, check, check it out. What just happened with those keys for those who aren't musically inclined or who don't know? He has some very serious key changes while the live sax is playing. It changed key. This song hasn't started yet. The ambiance, the timbre. Is already there. This is all live instruments, and he starts to change keys in the music to add tension while that hi hat starts to come in because now you're anticipating. So he changes a couple keys, 
to add tension to what's about to happen. Musicality already, already, man. Live instruments are always gonna get it, and that sax solo. That's all I had to say. Let's keep going. <laughs> Please, oh my god, oh my god, people, 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 no video, uh, allow me to explain everything that you heard right there, the amount of times he changed his rhyme, I'll let you speak to that, I'm going to tell you what the man just did over music, number one, assonance, assonance is the repetition of vowel sounds within a phrase or sentence, Okay, he uses that every single line, every single line before we did the did before we dump it before we da 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 before we da 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 da. In between lines, he's using assonance. He's using alliteration, a similar or and uh, probably more recognized device which involves stringing together similar sounds at the beginning of words. Now, Royce used this, but not like this. Can we all agree? Oh, man. Can we all agree that right what we here. just heard, how many times he did that? I mean, we could read it. This is masterful. Uh, This is masterful. This is masterful. What? Real quick, just real quick. We're going to keep on going. She's selling, selling is a sin. This is right, this is all alliteration. The first words, she, selling, sin, soul. Young men, selling, sin. If you don't offer new ways to win. All of that, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Adolf is gonna shake his Telling, swim. selling, telling. Se yeah, selling, yeah, oh, man, yes, oh man. Okay, so uh, uh, beyond that, be real quick, cause we don't have a lot of time, guys. Uh, onomatopoeia. This is when you use sounds that make words like moo or meow for cat. Also, things like crash, boom, break. The dude said pop, 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 pop. Made the pop, 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 the uh, onomatopoeia rhyme. Fourth thing, syncopation. Da, 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 da. Yeah, repeating the same rhythm over two or more measures so they don't land on the same place in every measure. It takes maybe three or four measures for it to go back around and make sense. Yes, he did that uh, five times. Last thing, fluid time artistic phrasing. So I, I, I stopped it here to tell all of you this. Like all of these points are being added up and we don't have enough time to talk about the winner video. So I'm doing it now. I'm telling you what the guy just right. did. When he starts out his words, it's not exactly on a beat. We've talked about this before. It's like me playing a drum beat and Nat King Cole singing that beat. His fluid time in between, just take the pop, pop, pop. There is no marking for that on a, on a musical paper. You can't break it down. It's just how you feel it, as, as only humans can do that. Fluid time artistic phrasing while doing all of this. If you don't think he's the GOAT, you tell me why. All right, we can continue. What you got to say, if anything, man? That's just, that's uh, no, just man, skill. You, 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 took, you took it away. Um, a skill and float, man? Come on, man. Like, I think every... Let me, let me... Oh, I'm going to kick it back just a little bit. Move away from it. Just a little bit. Because I want to start it, the show. He switched it right there. Like he, what he's doing is he's getting in his rhyme pattern and he comes out of it. Yeah. He uses another one and then he goes back into one. And then, then, and in, in the, he does it almost, what, what, what's this bar number here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost every six bars. You're getting something different. Yep, yep. Every six, almost every six bars, bro. Something different. Man, come oh, on. Oh, man. But <laughs> look, at, look, look at right this. And a Porsche and a horse and a four. 
Unfortunately, but of course, an assort, men of tour, chiz that score, chiz the skin. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> like, of course, the assortment of tour of the of the scorches of the man. Come that on, syncopation bro. with alliteration and a simile <laughs> and just rhyming. I, how do you, yo? And and then the to from the beginning to the end, he's. If you're talking about cultural content of cultural importance, every single line from the Porsche to the horse is a is a, is he's societally talking. Uh, before Mama wake up, before crumbs would cake up, we we know what he's talking about. Uh, Mark yeah. Jacob, the jeweler, that was a big thing. It's another another. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, before you shake the club, right. he's talking about the summer of '88 or '89. Uh, LL Cool he, J, he's what he's doing. every single, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about what's culturally important in this rhyme, you haven't found anything that isn't. Every single line is culturally important to somebody somewhere in hip hop. Much like Royce, like how Royce was telling you this story, right? He's setting the time period to let you know like what he's thinking about with this with this with this song right here yeah that's why you start with i'm drawing ll cool j's album covers and crayola oh okay you see what i'm saying yeah. then he comes back into on construction paper so he's letting you know right there he, he, this is youth time and then as he continues continues to rap before mama wake up wake up uh mark and jacob like he's letting you know like he's taking you through this time before the girls wore all the makeup you know what i'm saying like he is letting you know this is this is a, this is a song traveling through his mind which is through the time he's explaining all these things to you and he's letting you know like, all this stuff like, like you said the jeweler important back when we used to have more natural girls and videos versus a lot more makeup mm -hmm. now important all these different things are important <laughs> oh my god he's killing this um tutors uh, then he has then he has this verse talking about uh god let loose let loose lucifer on us that noose that won't loosen up you know what i'm saying like he's but saying loose like, enough why to would juice us the... up yeah like the devil get us juiced yeah. up man come Let's get back to where we it's, where, it's, where we were. Uh. Every single one, like I don't know, I, I don't know if I have enough space for the content and the skill. Every time I every time I look at something else that you're touching, I'm like, oh, I didn't catch that, and I have to put down another point. It's ridiculous, man. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Right here, let's get back. Hmm. That's all of them, man. <laughs> That's all the musicality points. We had the we had the horn in the beginning. We had the key changes. We had the timbre. We've got a song structure. Um, with that now that he added that little little uh, bridge at the end. We've already got um, the the harmony melody. That's timbre, harmony, melody. He, him and his rhythms already all live instruments and then he played the guitar himself at the end ah it's musicality to the max man um that is musicality to the max he gets influence points because not only is that song a popular one one of the most popular uh at the time by uh rick ross then he took it for himself and made more of a ruckus with it on his own than the actual person that he took it from. That's gotta be influence. <laughs> he got more views on his solo of that than the actual Rick Ross song. That's gotta be influence. Everything he talked about is influential, not to mention he's Andre, that we'll add that to the influence. Okay. Man, that video is it, it's the only thing killing Andre. Be honest with you. Royce killed it too. Like, that was a completely unorthodox rapping style. That's his rapping style. That's his rapping style. He even says it in the song. I made a name 
off of my rapping style letting it be known in that in that very video like that's what I this is what I do I don't know man like I said this is greatness right here this is this is why when people bring up this name everyone just like I mean if you don't know then you just kind of like oh I don't know that you know I don't know Andre you know I don't know but if you do know you're normally like all right I'm gonna shut up now yeah you know what I mean yeah I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> I'm going to shut if up. if you say he's the greatest that's what's up you may have a number one Man. on your list but you're not gonna sit there and argue right all right some of us know what he's done for music I think and some of you, some of your favorite rappers have him on his list. Well, Jay Z, <laughs> Jay Z for one said that Andre is the best. So at that point, I know what's going on. Oh man! I really just want right. to go back and listen to this sixteen again. Yeah, that's what's, <laughs> that's what's about to happen. I want to go back and listen to it again. That's what's about to happen. If I oh man oh uh, man, I got a client coming in. I got to go do, do a little lesson real quick, and I'm coming back to this. All right, man. Look, so uh, we're gonna get this head to head put up for you guys, and then we're gonna sit down, really break down these songs, listen to them. You know, we're like I said, this is the listen right here. We're just, you know, we're all fans of this, and we're kind of letting you guys know also what we're looking for yeah. and the importance of the breakdown. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like how we're actually looking at it for you guys to understand. Andre killed it, but the storytelling is also so very powerful on Royce's side. Yeah. So I'm not going to shortchange him on that because that is a that's hip hop at its core is powerful storytelling. Yep. Don't ever let that be. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We at times, yes, I will say at times, even me, I get caught up in the te technicality of it. But we all know at the core of hip hop is powerful storytelling. That's all literature. So. All literature. <laughs> so, let it be known, all right? And he had that, 100%, all right? So, uh, that's going to do it. All right, that's it for me. Bruce. You guys know. Bruce, tell them where they can find you before we head out. Team Box Cutter, right over there. Right over there. Team Box Cutter on YouTube. And for the block content, you poor people on Facebook who didn't get to hear this, go to my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Team Box Cutter. C U T T A. You saw it up there. Check this one out. All right. Yes, please do. Check out the head to heads over at Team Box Cutter. Um, I'm in a particular situation with YouTube, so I'm not going to chance the video aspect, so forth and so on, for copyright or strike purposes. Until I get that settled, then they will be back on my channel. All right, but check out Team Box Cutters. Watch these head to heads. Okay. All righty, man. Appreciate it. Y'all come on over, and all G's I'm right? Mixing. And peace.